What is up, everybody, and welcome back to Hearthstone. So I know the channel's been kind of flooded with Hearthstone, but I don't know why. I just I had a I had a hankering for some Hearth. So we are rank 16. We're still trying to go as far as we can. So let's see what happens. If we can if we can keep this streak going up with this uh, Paladin deck. All right. Another Paladin Paladin match. I will fight with honor. Double Tuscar Jousters in the hand and land hands. So a possibility of healing like 20 something health here. Uh, we don't need any of these. Let's try for a whole new hand. Hopefully we get something way better. Um, okay. Little, little better. Nothing, nothing too great. Especially if he starts with something strong. An Undertaker. Okay. Interesting. Uh, there's not a ton of great death rattle cards, so... We'll see how that plays out for him against my shielded mini-bot. Uh, great death rattle cards that work with Paladin, I should have said. I guess, like, Paladin Shredder, that's really it. I think I have maybe one other death rattle in my deck. Maybe? I don't even know if I do. Because I got rid of my Sludge Belcher, guys. Okay, so he's giving him Divine Shield, attacking me. So, interesting move there. That he didn't get rid of my shield, because now I'm just going to get rid of this thing. And my shield minibot, if he doesn't end up playing any death rattles, can take out his Undertaker. So, yeah. Hopefully he doesn't play death rattle, because if he does, then my bot is dead. Let's see what he gets. Okay, Knife Juggler, and what? Uh, no. Interesting. So, okay, there's the death rattle. Are we playing a zoo? I wasn't expecting that. Okay, so let's get some uh, some silver hands out here. Let's take out his knife juggler, just because that thing poses a bigger threat than the other than the other two. We'll leave it there. Next turn, if some of these guys survive, we can play the Argus. We'll see if he just is trying to go for face like a true zoo would. Okay, another death rattle, but we can get a card when that thing dies. Okay, he's just going for face. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. Ooh, that's a that's that's good actually. That would be a a nice move right now. Let's do that. We'll consecrate him. Okay, and now we're gonna send. Uh, I guess two of our silver hands because I just don't want to take more damage. Seeing as how we're playing against like a rushy kind of deck, I don't want to lower us all the way down to 16 that early. And we can also play our true silver to take out whatever he's gonna throw out next. Okay, each player draws two cards. Now we have a little bit more, some more options. We got a nice heal. Might play that. And another no. Okay. Oh, he's playing something else. He's giving him taunt. Gotcha. Alright. I think we can get through this. Unscathed. Let's see. I want to heal. So if we're going to heal, let's take out this thing. Now, I'm assuming since he's playing with Zoo, we should win this, this joust. He should have a lot of low minion cards. Okay, well, it was still four, but we did win. So that's good. We get plus seven health there, which is nice. And we have a huge card advantage. And we're only one health down. All right, another knife juggler. And he's got a clockwork giant. Okay, interesting. Ouch. That's okay. We have... Haha, <laughs> perfect. Big game hunter. Just what I wanted. To take that thing out. Um, okay, so we have three mana here. I kind of want to save the peacekeepers just in case he plays any other giants. Um... So we'll do that. We'll summon a dude. We'll attack his knife juggler. We'll take care of his entire field. Kind of leave him totally without any cards. So if he plays another giant, we have two peacekeepers and the equality to take care of those guys. So I'm not really worried about them. Play a young priestess. A reinforce. What's he got? He's going to give something. Okay. So that thing's going to go up to two health, which is fine. <laughs> Not too scared of that. Uh, should we throw out a, a silver champion? Let's do that. Let's do this. Um, I don't know if I want to do that or not. Let's just take care of this guy like that. Send this thing. And we'll start him attacking right into his face and put some intense pressure on him. Alright, so yeah, I mean, next turn if he doesn't play anything, we can get him all the way, almost down to zero. And maybe if we throw out our Argus... Both Argus's actually might be able to get him all the way down. Put your faith okay, on. never mind. He's got Tyrion. Uh, <laughs> we can play our own. That'd be pretty fun. Instead, I'm gonna be smart. I'm gonna go like this. Get those guys up, pretty powerful. Take care of his divine shield. Take care of him. 
Okay. Now, since I don't want something to go wrong here, <clears throat> I also want to do as much damage as possible. Let's do another Argus. And then go for space. Alright, so now we're at 24 health, and he's at 7 health, and he has to go through both of these taunts. So I think we win, especially since we have another champion in our hand, and he's got really nothing. Alright, so he's gonna what? He's gonna attack my big game, send himself down to 1 health, and then that's it. Well played, Apathy Vox! Alright. Sweet! So first game win! Woohoo! Happy Feast of Winterfell. <laughs> Gotta love it. Alright, sweet. So now we're at rank 15. And now, yeah, it takes four stars to get to the next rank now. And we got a quest going. So yeah, it takes four. I, I forget when it turns to five. It's not for a few more ranks. It stays four for a little while. I think three is the probably the most. It's like... Well, actually, no, maybe not. Maybe it is, it's kind of spread out. Because it goes 2 until what, like rank 20 or something? Or rank 19? Alright. Or 18? Is it 18? Ooh. Jaina! Versus Jaina! You asked for it. Okay, I not, not the one. best starting hand. If you guys haven't realized, I like to start with my mini bots. Maybe that one mana jouster guy. Not this. Uh, and my knife juggler. My muster to arms or whatever the card is, the three silver hand card. Those are the good starting cards in the deck. Everything else is just kind of afterwards. So I didn't get any of them, so that kind of stinks. Alright. Greetings. Happy oh. Feast of Winterville. Happy Feast of Winterville. <laughs> it's the sky proves up here. Oh, alright, I'm sorry. Alright, so we're playing Jaina so she can just immediately get rid of our, our silver hand, which kind of sucks. Uh, we don't really have anything for a three mana play. This deck is really not good with three mana. With a three mana turn. Okay. Um. Oh, there's my knife juggler. See, so if I play the knife juggler, it, that kills it. Let's just silence that thing just to get rid of its. Uh, to get rid of its. Uh, what's it called? Secret. There's not really a ton of great mage cards to silence. If you if you really think about it. Um. So silencing like tactic. Tactically is a lot better. <laughs> Alright, so he gets two cards. I'm hoping my knife juggler and a silver hand can kill this thing. It's a 50-50 shot here. If I get to keep my owl for an attack. Let's see. Nope. That sucks. Alright, let's take care of that guy. Okay, so this is good. At least we got through the beginning of that game without taking too much uh, heat. So yeah, I don't really have any three mana cards besides the big game hunter and the um, peacekeepers, and both of those are kind of late game. Okay, oh, we, we survived that. Oh, now he's in a, Wow, he's killing me. And this thing activates. This thing's so overpowered, the Flame Waker. Okay, what do we want to do here? We could play the mini bot and a reinforce. That wouldn't really get us anywhere, so I'm just gonna throw out the Shredder. Yeah, we don't really have the best. We're not getting the best uh, hands against. Uh, Jane is always a difficult matchup for me because of the, the stupid fire blast that takes out my silver hand. Okay, Sorcerer's Apprentice. He's going to start spamming spells because this thing gets just two extra damage for every single spell. Oh, there, there it goes. <sighs> this guy. He'd be better to silence. Okay. So we have the muster. We have the quarter. So I think we save those and heal... Yeah, I guess so. There's not really much else we could have done. Come on. Yes! Alright, so we get it all the way back up. All of our health. We're only losing out on one potential health point, so that's fine. So, let's see. For seven mana, what do we want to play? I guess we play the bot and, like, our re... Yeah, that's not... Oh, man. Hopefully we get something better for next turn. Because I want to save the eight mana for the Master for Battle Quartermaster. Okay, and that's going to get another two damage. Stupid... Flame Waker thing. And now we can take it out. If he can take out my turtle, if he attacks it with his apprentice and then uses his uh, fireball. Or he does something else. Oh, just a six damage right to my face. And this is going to activate again. Oh, of course. And then what's he going to do? Is he going to attack? No. He already is playing the worm. Okay. And then he's attacking. Gotcha. Got it. Got it. Alright. Okay. This isn't good. This isn't good at all. I have a bunch of these clear cards that don't really do anything right now. 
Okay. So we have him. I, should we just start spamming the field with stuff? I guess so. Ah, uh, this isn't good. Um, we could draw with the eight mana and heal ourselves. I don't really want to do that. The stupid flame waker guy. Such a pain. If you don't have like if you don't have a clear card in your hand to get rid of him, he just stays in the field, taking out every single one of your minions. You need like I need like my true silver card, the, the sword, mm. or some sort of spell to get rid of it. But now that I've kind of spammed the field a little bit, hopefully it's a little bit harder for him to take out everything. Let's see what he's got. Oh, Dr. Boom! Well, we can take him out with the big game hunters, so that's fine. It'll delay our muster for battle turn. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take this freaking thing out. Um... We are going to big game hunter his Dr. Boom. Okay. Now, I want to take out these boom bots, but let's try to save as much as possible here. Let's throw down the jouster just to be a little, like, soak up some damage. Okay, we got Bolvar. We got us the joust. Now, I'm worried that he plays Flame Strike right now, but if he does play Flame Strike, that means we get to, you know, spare our, our muster for battle combination from Flame Strike. But, Flame Strike will get rid of everything. And then the boom bots are still there to probably destroy my silver hands. Okay. Battle cry discover a spell. Six by three, five mana. So I guess the discover thing is literally just like you get to see three cards and you're gonna choose one. I don't have any of those cards yet. <laughs> I still need to play this new expansion. Pick it! Pick it already! I'm getting antsy because I'm losing. Okay, a secret. That's that's not good. I don't like that. Is he gonna attack with his yes, he's attacking with his boom bots. Aha! Only one damage! Take that! Of course! Of course it kills the one thing I didn't want to kill. Okay, let's do this. And this. Let's hope to god that this isn't a cancel... Like like one of those spell cancel things. Okay, it's not. Okay. We're good. Let's attack him. Oh, now it's a secret. Okay, he's, he, he copied my quartermaster. That's fine with me. So now I really hope he doesn't have a flame strike. I'm, I'm assuming he would have used the flame strike on the previous field. We do have our land hands and the mini bot for next turn, so uh, we're not running too much out of cards because we'll get three back, and we'll be able to heal. So we're still in the game. He's got his as as your Drake, one of the best mage cards. Okay, doing some damage there. Is he gonna use his flame ball thing? Yep, fire blast. I'm assuming that's it. No, he's got something something little. See, as we're going up the ranks, like these these matches are getting much harder. It's not just push over decks anymore. What's he got now? Oh, freaking heck! He's freezing me. Okay, what a jerk. We got to heal. <clears throat> because I'm afraid of a the amount of damage a mage deck can do, and b I need the cards. Okay, so let's take care of this guy. And then let's actually, I know this looks really bad when I'm ramming both of these silver hands into the stupid Azure Drake. The plus one um, spell damage wasn't worth leaving the thing on the field. <clears throat> Alright, so we got our knights. We can start spamming our knights, which is nice. Oh god, this is, that's one of the reasons why I wanted to heal. Because this stupid thing that may, lets me get a million fireballs. Whenever he plays a spell, he also gets a fireball, which does six damage. So we have to keep track of our health right now. I don't know what he's gonna do here. I don't wanna know. So I'm I'm wondering if I should change his attack to one and try to take him out somehow, or make everyone's health one. Yeah, I think this is the best way of going about this. Do equality, take him out that way. Start spamming some uh, Murlocs. There we go, all right. I'm still vulnerable to a flame strike. Very vulnerable. But if he does, we have another knight we can throw out there. Which can get three minions on the field and six six mana. So yeah. Alright, he has a flame walker waker. What is he gonna play with that? Arcane missile. Might take out some of our stuff here. Yep, and then that activates, we'll probably take out even more stuff. Oh, another one! That's great. <clears throat> okay. Alright, that sucked a lot. At least um, the knight's still alive. 
Right? Come on! <laughs> Jeez! Alright, took out like, all my stuff. And then did two damage to me. Congratulations, bud. He did like use almost all of his cards doing that, though. So here's what we're gonna do. We are going to summon the knight. We're, we are going to consecrate him. I'm gonna use... I should've used, actually used the hero power first and saw what Murloc had got. Of course it was the charge, but actually that works perfectly anyway. I would have done the same thing. Okay. There we go. We answered that. Now we're down to... Alright, he has three cards in his hand. I have two in my hand. We have a little bit less health than him, but we have a knight on the field. And he has a secret. Cloud Shredder. Alright. I might just throw the thing's health down to one and leave it. Or attack down to one and just leave it. Alright, we got our own Shredder too. Okay. I'm assuming this is maybe a... Yep, mirror. Okay, that's that's fine. Because then we can take care of that guy. And then play... Get another Murloc. Oh, stupid thing. Play our own Shredder. Go for his face. Alright, we're staying alive here. I'm trying to build up a little bit of... Like, some sort of Silver Hand army for the Quartermaster. Even two Silver Hands at this point in the game would probably be okay. I, I don't know where all my legendaries are. So he's another secret. He's getting rid of the knight, as he should. Okay. He's got his trog. And he's just trying to deal some sort of damage. Okay. Here we go. Get some health back. Um, what do we do here? Let's send this guy to space and see what happens with the secret. Nothing. Okay. Let's attack this thing with this guy. So that's some sort of... <clears throat> that's either... If he's about to lose the game, he becomes immune for a turn. Yes, we won. I'm loving all the health we're getting back. Or it's the counter spell. Oh, okay. Or it was the mirror. Alright, I forgot about that. Shoot. Oh, well. Okay, let's just go for his face. There's nothing. I wasn't going to just send both those guys at him and leave him with one health. That, that wouldn't make any sense. I'm assuming he's going to kamikaze with my jouster. We'll see, though. Because if he doesn't, I'm... Okay, he's attacking the peacekeeper. That was an interesting move, I guess, to keep it alive. But now, I mean, he's losing, he's leaving himself pretty much open for my Jouster's attack. And now I got this guy. Whenever a character's healed, I deal one damage to a random enemy. That, I mean, I actually heal myself a lot. A he's got a Recombobulator. He gets to transform his minion into something else. Which, oh, he should have done that before. Alright, so how much damage do we have? We have, that's a 3, 6, 11. So, oh, it's not enough. It's so close to being enough. Um, oh man, do I just go for his face and just hope he doesn't have anything? No, it's a mage, I can't do that. Oh, okay, alright. I don't, I don't like this, but I have to do it. It's not worth, it's not, oh, hold on. It's not worth him, like, playing a flame strike and just taking back the, oh, I forgot to play a silver hand. That was a mistake. Whoops. Hopefully that doesn't cost me the game. Okay. Because what I was saying before is if I was to just go for his face with everything in my field, he would be down to like, you know, two health or something. But, okay. But if he had if he had a flame strike, it would have taken out everything. Whew, that was a tough one. Man. All right. I didn't actually think I had that. Okay, one more. One more. Whew. Yeah, well, when he was taking care of all my minions with that Flame Waker, I thought that was game over. I lost so many cards to that thing. Alright. Let's see who we face next. Thrall. Interesting. We haven't fought a Shaman yet. Okay. So, um, nothing really good here. We'll keep the Shredder, just because it's a decent card. Getting rid of everything wouldn't be the best idea if I have a Shredder in my hand. Okay, all fours and a five. Not good. Not good. Hopefully he doesn't have a starting game. Because I don't really either. We could play the coin and send out a, re or, 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 a silver hand just to kind of have field presence. Like That might be a good idea. Because versus the, the tiki's, the little totems things, um, if he has, I don't know, just taking out these guys, like the little totems, and not letting them spam the field is good. So I want some sort of... Okay, well, that's the one by one. Well, that's not too bad. Um, 
I'm gonna leave it. In case he, for some reason, doesn't want to take out my silver hands, I'm assuming he will. So that's kind of a free damage we got. Oh, and he's gonna take, yeah, he's gonna attack my, uh, my face. So, um, hmm. Let's do this, and let's actually just go for this thing. I don't care about taking six damage if I can actually keep two silver hands, because I got the quartermaster on the field. And next turn we have four mana, we can start playing all of our good cards here. Okay, oh, he's got a heal, that sucks. This thing will go back up to uh, two health. I don't know what he's going to do with the Searing Totem. I mean, if he attacks anything, he's dead. So I'm assuming he's just going for my face again, which I'm hoping for. I'm hoping he just attacks my face. With this Paladin deck, taking... Oh, okay, he's giving himself an attack. Taking damage isn't that bad, because I have so many heals. It looks like he's going to go for my mini bot. Alright, fine with me. Oh, oh, and... And kill my guy. Okay. Alright, not so fine now. Um, I think we're gonna true silver champion. Um, so I don't want to waste the Argus on... It's either I waste Argus on just one silver hand, or I waste my true silver champion attack on this stupid totem thing. And just leave me with kind of like nothing on the field. Mm -hmm. This is an interesting... This is an interesting one. I guess we'll just do this. Okay. May not have, I mean, neither of those would have been great moves, so I chose the one of them. <laughs> Maybe not the better of the two, but I chose one. Okay, so he's not really playing much on the field, which is fine with me. I will spam the field as much as I want while he just kind of dilly-daddles with his cards in his hand. He overloaded himself for two next turn. Whenever you overload, gain one attack per locked mana crystal. I wonder if he just drew that, because that would have been a good idea to have played that last turn. Or before, you know, the overload draw. Okay, now it's a good time for the true silver. For justice. Get rid of that thing. Get rid of this thing. Get our jouster out here. Come on. No whammy, no whammy, no whammy. Yeah. A jouster helped out the other jouster. Now we get two, two, threes. Next turn, we can throw out the Argus, make them three, fours. That's a pretty good defense. I have our, our weapon. We can even throw out a reinforce with that, too. <clears throat> so that thing is going right... He gave up! Oh, I was actually getting some pretty good uh, momentum going, but that sucks. We, sh we should play one more. Rank 14. Cool. And we got, a, we got a thing. We got a quest. Oh, it's enough to get a pack. Well, actually, you know, this video has been going on pretty long. Maybe we won't. I know, sorry. But we will buy a pack. Oh, I just bought a classic pack. Ah, I wanted the grand tournament. Dang it. All right, we'll open a pack and we'll call it an episode. That second match was really intense. Unbound Elemental, we just saw that. I have like all these cards. Oh, this, this stinks. <laughs> Two Priestess of Elun, terrible cards. Wow. All right, hope you guys all enjoyed. Next episode will continue with our ranked matches. We're getting up there now. We're ranked 14. So, hope you guys all enjoyed. And until the next episode, I will see you all later.